Hey everybody, it's Chris Bumbray here again for JoeBlow.com from Toronto International Film Festival with a review of James Franco's The Disaster Artist, all about the making of Tommy Wiseau's The Room as seen through the eyes of his best friend, a struggling actor named Greg Sestero, played by Dave Franco. To say there's never been a movie like The Room is a massive understatement. Sure, plenty of terrible vanity projects have seen the light of day, especially since digital made the actual technology needed to make a film accessible. Has anyone seen Fateful Findings, for example? Birdemic? But who would ever watch one of those movies for fun? Sure, The Room is bad, but it's magnificently bad. Anyone who's followed James Franco's career can sense his fascination with performance art, with some of his early films as a director or art installations being a bit tough to sit through. He's been following his muse and it's easy to see why he'd feel a kinship with Weezo. As such, he's made a movie that's an absolute love letter to the enigmatic writer-director star, which will likely further establish his reputation as one of the cult icons of our time. Now, you don't really have to have seen The Room to have fun with the disaster artist, but it sure helps. Franco's recreation of scenes which include him as Weezo and Dave Franco as Sestero, as well as Ari Grainer, Josh Hutcherson, Jackie Weaver, and Zac Efron on a funny cameo are so uncanny he can't resist the opportunity to include split-scene comparisons with the real thing before the credits roll. Even still, Franco doesn't turn Weezo into a joke. He's funny, but he's not a stock comedy character. There's a vulnerability behind the eyes or in his friendship with Sestero that elevates the comedy into pathos. It's worth noting that Franco never tears down the Weezo myth too much by revealing his real age, nationality, or how exactly he managed to fund a six million dollar movie. Why would he? What we imagine is always better than the truth anyway. A who's who of celebs show up as themselves, both paying tribute to the room in sequences reminiscent of the witnesses and reds, complete with them in front of a stark black background, and as themselves bouncing around late 90s LA. Elizabeth Bree is a small part of Sestero's loyal girlfriend, while Seth Rogen and Paul Shear play it straight as frustrated members of Weezo's crew who have to put up with his madness on a daily basis. I went into the disaster artist not quite getting why Weezo's film is cut on so much, but after seeing this, I kinda get it. In a way, it's a David and Goliath story. Weezo may have made crap, but at least he made something from the heart, turning this into a kind of contemporary Ed Wood. As far as Franco's work as a director goes, this is a major step forward, and along with the deuce, caps off an amazing resurgence. I give this one a strong 8 on 10. For JoeBlow.com, I'm Chris Bumbray.